Last time on Left Behind. Plank? <laughs> Steve Plank? <laughs> Gentlemen and ladies, I must say I have a new lease on life. <laughs> Those who neglect to get the mark when it is made available shall be put to death. What is something wrong? X. Oh. I drive up and we drive off. Sounds like a walk in the park. I'll be on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hattie! She tried to hang herself. Hattie! Based on The Mark, the eighth book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 88 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. She just moved, I saw it. One, two, three, four, five. Shut the door. Oh, you don't need the light. Shut it. We are going to save this girl, and we will be three, the only ones to know it. Five. She has a pulse. She's coming around. Come on. Come on. Here. here. I can't even kill myself. I don't want to die. I can't go back to Bob. She does not recognize you. Recognize who? I know Steven's here, but... Uh, uh, who are you losers? He saved your life. I am merely his loser friend. You're not going to buffer, Hattie. What? Yeah. It's me. No Rick. secrets in this room. Oh, Rayford. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about him? What about me? We're all in this together. Uh, okay. Right. I almost killed myself. Actually, ma'am, you did. You're dead. Wait, what are you talking about? You called your old friend to rescue you, and he refused. You were despondent, you wrote a note, and hung yourself. We came to get you, we were too late. And what could we do? Report the suicide and dispose of the body. Uh, I, I did write a note. See, it's right there. Uh, thanks uh, for nothing, old friends. I vowed never to go back to Buffer, and I meant it. You can't win them all. Sorry. Sign it. <coughs> How long can you hold your breath? Well, apparently not long enough to kill myself. We will wheel you out of here under a sheet. There will likely be a number of places you are going to have to look dead. Can you do it? I'll do whatever I have to. Wait, you're really in on this? The less you know, the better. Okay. Gentlemen, I see no reason she ever needs to know. Clear? Right. Leave that sheet the way it is, with the light fixture hanging from that end, and use the other sheet from the bed to cover her. Got some sway at the airport. I'll try and grease things up a bit for your exit. Great to be on the same team. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Come on, Zeke. Yeah? Zeke, it's Buck. What's up? Hey, Buck. You like fireworks? I'm gonna say yes. Well, buddy, you're in luck. Zeke's is putting on a show. Okay. Starting with the grand finale, too. Gonna torch the place. What? The station? Bingo. You're gonna light a gas station on fire? Once they figure out they snagged up everybody that used to gas up here, they're gonna torch it anyway, right? Well, maybe, but why not let them? I don't want to run the risk of them finding the basement. If they did, things would get kind of hairy for my dad. What more can they do to your dad? All they got him on now is selling gas without GC approval. They fine him, maybe make him sit a month or two, no big deal. But if they find out me and him 
We run their rebel forgery biz out of here. That's when the tofu starts hitting the fan. Can't argue with that. So how do we do it? Okay. I moved a couple of boxes of stuff out by the pile of dirt in the back, and I got one big canvas bag with me. Files, equipment, everything. I even brought some food. We have plenty of food. Uh, never have enough food, man. But back to the torching? Yeah, yeah, here's the deal. I cut a feed from the pipe that leads to the storage tank. It runs right by the wall we dug. I hook up a fuel injector to it. When I leave, I turn the spigot, the gas runs through the fuel injector, and starts spraying everywhere. And pretty soon the underground is filled with gas. Better yet, fumes. Right, right, fumes. And you, what, toss a match down the stairs on your way out? <laughs> Tossing a flame down here would blow me all the way to Halstead Street, man. Save you a trip, huh? So, all right, how do you ignite it? I put a spark plug on a timer, give myself five minutes or so, and at the right time, kaboom. Kaboom? Bingo. Zeke, you are never going to have time to rig all that up. I'm only about to... Time is relative, my friend. It's, it's already done. You're kidding. No. I just set the timer, open this spigot, sit back and enjoy the show. Make sure I'm sitting there with the engine running before you open that spigot. Deal? Deal. Oh, and one more thing. Don't start it until you're actually on your way out of the building. Oh, yeah, right. That would be important. Yeah. Kaboom. Right, Zeke? Well, they bought it. What'd you tell them? Said we needed some downtime before heading back to the Midwest, which mm. is true. When I said we were transporting a criminal, they even let us borrow a jeep. They gave me the name of a motel a couple of miles down the road. Hey, sleepyhead. Wake up. Where are we? Bozeman, Montana. Oh. Why? Hattie, my dear, you have a long history of being used for bait. We think we're okay on this one, but better safe than sorry. I see. Now we're going to go get some rest, and then carefully make our way back to Chicago. So let's make this simple. Are you going to hang around, or do we need to duct tape you to something? Ray, I got nothing. I've got no reasons, I've got no resources, i got no family... I can't even kill myself. I give, Ray, I give. Besides, compared to Buffer, the new safe house sounds like heaven. Yeah. Well, speaking of heaven, you're gonna be in for the full court press, you know. There are more of us now, and you're gonna be the prime target. Yeah, well, I might just listen for once. Don't say that lightly. Ray, I don't say anything lightly anymore. So, Albie, is it? Yes. I know Ray's story. I'm in Ray's story. What about you? What about me? Well, you're one of the good guys. How did you... believe? Uh, yes. Well... I was raised a Muslim, from birth. After the disappearances, I came upon the internet writings. Sian Ben Judah. Yeah, I know. Talk about a man who loves the unlovable. Speaking of yourself, I assume. Who else? Let me tell you something about unlovable. I was basically a criminal. I justified my existence when my black marketing was used to oppose Nikolai. You knew he was... I would have called him evil, but not antichrist. I did not know the term. Rayford can tell you my god was cash, and I knew how to get it. You bought stuff through him? Now and then. I began monitoring the internet messages of Dr. Ben Judah. What struck me was that God loved sinners. I could hardly accept that anyone would love me, a sinner. I then began reading the Bible. It was very hard. What I was reading went against everything I had ever been taught. My first prayer was very simple, very childlike. What did you say? Well, I told God I knew I was a sinner, that I was sorry for what I had done, and that I wanted to believe he could forgive me. I slept that night as I had not slept in years. And that was it? I woke the next morning with a deep hunger for the Bible. I pulled it up on my computer and read and read. Only after midday did I realize I had not yet eaten. 
I thank God over and over for answering my prayer. I was a believer, a child of God, forgiven, a loved sinner. I'll get us a couple of rooms. There is a reason I wanted to tell you that story. Dr. Ben Judah often says that this or that truth gives the lie to certain false claims. Have you heard him say that? Yeah. It applies to you. I have just met you and yet God has given me a love for you. Rayford and his family and friends speak often of their love for you. And that gives the lie to your claim that you are unlovable. They shouldn't love me. <laughs> of course they shouldn't. God shouldn't love us either and yet he does. Thanks. Thanks for telling me that. Okay, folks. Affording ourselves only the finest, we'll be enjoying Pine Ridge Motel's luxurious rooms 7 and 8. Mm. Here you go. Mm. I'll get the bags. Thanks, Ray. Oh, Ray. Don't worry. I'll be here in the morning. <sighs> yeah, because where would you go in Bozeman, Montana, right? See you in the morning. I just hope this wasn't for nothing. Hmm. Do you want to shower first? Huh? Ah, no. Go ahead. So, again, I pray, please, God, please, please, I got a good look a few minutes ago. Just the two GC goons in the car. Any more recent activity? Dead calm here, Buck. So where are you at now? Well, I'm circling way around behind. Just passing that old restaurant. Coming in with my lights off. There's an alleyway back there. You should be able to spot them. Yeah, Mound of Rubble. Exactly. Looks like Mount Everest. Hey, man, I can hear you. You can hear me? From yeah. inside? That can't be good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You ready for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better make it quick. Are you carrying anything? Just one more bag. Hey, unless you've got any interest in two cases of antelope jerky, I can't decide if I should bring it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think we can leave it behind, Zeke. Your call, man. I'm moving. All right, right. all right. Set the timer. Already did. What? Open the spigot, too. Boy, not wasting any time, are we? I'm hanging up. Zeke! Get out here! Give me a hand with these boxes! Whoa! What does he have in here? Cinder blocks? Buck, what's uh, up, buddy? Uh, evening, Zeke. Listen, Come on. Buck, I got to look at that monitor as I was heading up here. And our GC friends are on their way around back. Oh, great. Great. Come on, help me with this. Now, in addition to that little tidbit, we uh, got me out of dimension that right now, uh, in the basement, the gas is a spitting, uh, the timer's going, all adding up to a situation that could rightfully be referred to as somewhat volatile. Uh, okay. Time to go. All right, jump in and hang on. Come on. Oh, hang on to the mother bags, bro. All right, here. Go, grab it now. Go, go. Come on, here they come. Headed right for us. Go, go, go. All right, change of plans. Hold on, we're going to ram them. Everybody okay? All good. All but right. the boys are going for their sidearms. Oh, can't outrun boys. You doing what I think you're going to do? 
Earth. You think I'm backing up that pile of debris to get a running start then? No, yeah, I'm doing what you think I'm doing. They're crawling out of the car! Here we go! Yeah! You're starting your own junkyard! Where'd those boys go? Here we go. I'm not looking for them. Hey, boys, if you can hear me, I'd get as far away from that gas station as I could! Zeke, how much longer on that timer? Plenty of time. Should be at least another... Whoa! Zeke, that was a quick five minutes! That there was a big one! Hey, Buck, how about two cases of fried antelope jerky? What, you get commission on that stuff? Let's get out of here, I'm huh? telling you, man, it's not that bad! <laughs> Days. That's all we've got? That's hard to believe. Yeah, no staying around here. Not that I'll miss it. I know I will. Huh. Well, there's so much we can do from the inside that we'll never be able to pull off from the outside. No, David, listen. We both know you can do anything technologically. You get yourself healthy and figure out how to keep tabs on this place from anywhere in the world. It, it's doable, right? Uh, theoretically, but it's not that easy. Oh, come on, somehow you got this place bugged, sliced and diced. Why can't you access computers here the way you did with that building in Chicago? It's possible. I can't imagine psyching myself up to get it done. Not without any. Mm. What? Well, you, you know something you're not telling me? I, I mean, just as worried as you are. I mean, it makes no sense. No way she wouldn't let you know where she was. Uh, if she could. David? Come on in. What? What's, what's in the box? Oh, no. David? No. I... No! I, I am so Daddy. sorry. Oh. Uh, could you could you tell what happened? It was a lightning strike. Uh, there would have been no pain or suffering. <laughs> David, Smitty and I will be right outside if you need us. No. I I'd appreciate it if you could stay, please. <coughs> I have a few of her personal effects. In this box. <laughs> it's it's just her purse and phone, jewelry, shoes. I didn't want to upset you more, but I thought you'd like to have these things. I just, have to see her. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, dear David, that's that's not a good no, idea. No, I have to. She's not really gone and never will be, unless I know for sure. David, I don't know how to say this. If the woman in the morgue were my best friend. I wouldn't recognize her. <laughs> she was she was my first love. <laughs> oh God. I dated before, but she was the love of my life. <laughs> I do look at the door. Uh, miss, could could you wrap the curtain around here, please? <laughs> Asking why things happen. We know we're on borrowed time and that we belong to you, and we don't understand this. We don't like it. And it's hard for us to accept God. We, we thank you that Annie didn't suffer. Yes, God. We envy her. She's with you. But we miss her already. Just ask that you'll come alongside David now with a, a stronger presence than you've ever provided before. And help him heal. To carry on to do what you want him to do, even, even without the woman who gave him so much joy, Lord. So much joy. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us know what we can do. Anything at all. I will. Thanks, Mac. Abdullah. Hannah, please don't go yet. You need sleep. You you want me to get you something? Yes. Yes, Hannah. I 
I really have to see her. You're sure? Absolutely. It won't be easy. And this is? This place is really uptown. Hey, I intend to earn my keep. Put this here in the pot. Whoa, that's quite a roll. Uh, you might want to wait until it's official, okay? Rayford will be here tomorrow night and... It's all right. Consider it a donation. Even if I get voted out or blackballed or can't quite get the secret handshake right. <laughs> I don't see that happening. Is there an eye test, by the way? No, no. We dropped that a while ago. <laughs> that's a relief. Hey, Kenny. Say hello to Uncle Zeke. Oh, man. This is Kenny Bruce. Oh, he's so little. Look at them little fingers. Oh, I sure wish Dad could see him. Well, sit down, and you can hold him. Really? Cool. Oh, I hope I don't drop him. Uh, yeah, let's try not to drop him. He's not under warranty anymore. Hey there, big guy. This is Uncle Zeke. But you've never seen anything like me before. Dude! You take one look and you start laughing? I'm hurt. I'm crushed. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm so crushed. Chloe, does he like guava fruit? Um, Zeke, I, I gotta tell you, I just don't know. Why? I got a whole bag of these Fletcher's hard candies, except they're all guava flavored. I got a deal on them that way. Here, you take them and I'll see if I can find them. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I am so uplifted by the energy of youth. There's not even a chance you were talking about Kenny just then, is there? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> so many bodies. You're sure you want to do this? Yes. You can see the toe tag. It's her name and rank. Oh. Her, her, her foot, it, it's so swollen. David, the other one's worse. Oh. Oh. Her foot is split in two. You, you're sure she never felt it? Positive. Fortunato was... Given the power to call down fire from heaven on those who didn't worship the image. I know. I could have easily been struck. Me too. Why, Annie? Why? Push me to the head of her bed. You may want to look only at her face. There was severe cranial trauma. And David, for some reason... No one closed her eyes. I tried, but with time and rigor mortis, well, a mortician will have to do that. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Oh. Okay? No. I, I want to stand. You shouldn't. Help me. Use the IV stand to brace yourself if the room starts to spin. Starts been spinning since I got in the chair. Oh. There. Behind, the dramatic audio series is based in part on the book The Mark by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins and has been adapted for radio by Chris Fabry, music by Steve Wick, sound design by Glenn West, directed and produced by Todd Bastide. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.